I don't know if this is gonna be a dumb idea, um, and I don't know if this is gonna be a good idea, but it just randomly hit me, okay. Okay, my name is Rachel Metz, and I'm going to renovate my Joshua Tree property, which is three bedroom, one bath, and I'm going to build a master bathroom in 90 days. Horse hair, dog hair, human hair, and beautiful baby fingers. I don't know if you can see it. The storm's coming in behind me. As I'm waterproofing, I'm so nervous. Let's get to it. It's like literally right there. Gosh. Um, there's something about <laughs> prepping for a hurricane and then your neighbor who's lived here for literally 40 years comes over and goes, Rachel, are we running a tractor tomorrow? Why are you doing all this? And my brain's just like, cause I'm panicking, everybody's panicking. So I finished prepping the flood areas that um, I know about, but when my neighbor came over and was just like, hey, we got this tomorrow, just chill tonight, you're okay, and if anything happens, I got you. It's just a new level of just safety, knowing I have someone there that will help me, cause like literally my parents, I mean, I'm not close with my family, but my parents haven't even checked in on me, which, uh, you know. I'm like real alone, real alone. So it just feels really, really nice to have a neighbor and we're gonna just tackle this together tomorrow. Okay, I made a buddy. So I'm just gonna let him be. But he is definitely in position to scare me. She does not need to be. <laughs> okay, my body is broken. This is Hannah's jumper. <laughs> and um, you know, if this, I'm, I'm feeling like a little, a little bit emotional. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Just, you know, I've never dealt with hurricane prep, let alone solo. And so I've done all the things like the water and the non-perishables and what have you. And then tomorrow I'm renting a tractor and just fixing the road to ensure like the flooding stops for our whole street because it's just been really bad and nobody's taking care of it. Street and just make sure that, you know, Sunday and Monday that everybody here is nice and safe. I am just all over the place. Uh, my back is killing me and I know I should be sleeping, but I just want to make sure everything is done on the off chance the power goes out and what have you. So I'm going to wash the dogs. Good girl. Stay. <laughs> Woo! Mama. You could see the park mountains from there. Like my house looks at the Joshua Tree National Park mountains, like the front of them. And the clouds have moved in where you cannot see them anymore. I'm hoping it's not raining too bad over there. You can't see any of my mountains. Here she comes. It's been on and off like this, but this is the hardest. It has poured today. I'm a little nervous because I just moved a bunch of sandbags and now I'm thinking we might have needed them. It is starting to pour and puddle a little bit harder um, and I'm noticing some places I need to put some sandbags. I'm trying to see where everything leaks. Two years of work is gone and that's okay. I definitely made that worse. We're getting the worst of it now. But my brain automatically goes to just panic mode for the trailer. But it's a goner. It's literally a goner. The rain, it, <laughs> with the amount of leaks and the amount of rain that we've been getting, there's no way. It's okay to live and learn as unfortunate as that is. <laughs> I think the storm's passed. Mm. Okay, I think it's passed. But I can kind of walk around and assess the damage, figure it out. All the prep, everything, it, it held. It's great. I'm going to keep it real for you guys. Today's sponsor honestly inspired me to get my life together in this episode and to start this series. So thank you. And let me tell you a little bit more about BetterHelp. All right, 
well, it's Tuesday. I didn't record much on Monday because it was more just like cleaning up what we have done. And I went over to the rescue I volunteer at to just help clean up there as well. Today, we're just continuing the cleanup that I want to be doing, which is just purging and getting rid of everything it literally does not serve me. So I'm gonna start with the garden shed because that's gonna help me be able to move out of the house and make this like a decor closet and move the potting stuff into the potting station that we DIY'd. Really the name of the game is just like getting my life together in the way that I want to, not prepping for a hurricane. I really am enjoying just taking you along and be like showing you the mess of me and becoming a more effective human on my property. And not only do I wanna become an effective human on my property, but I genuinely wanna become an effective human to my Myself, which kind of goes hand in hand with today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist within just a few days. If you have been following me for any length of time, you guys will know that I've been struggling mentally and I honestly make every excuse in the book to avoid getting therapy from living in the middle of nowhere to the lack of resources of in-person therapy out here to finances to honestly just saying I'm too busy. BetterHelp's mission is to make getting the help that you need accessible, affordable, and convenient, which just literally removes every excuse in my book. I am on the go so much with this renovation that honestly, I just love logging into the app, having it at my fingertips to be able to message my therapist and request a check-in or reschedule the appointment that we have and be able to directly message her. Hi there, this is uh, editing Rachel coming in to say, I can't believe I didn't tell you my favorite part because I was actually really nervous just being so open about my therapy. If you do not match with a therapist, it's a lot like dating. If you don't match, you don't groove, you don't jive, you can switch so easily without worrying about who's in whose network, your insurance, any additional cost whatsoever. It's honestly really stress-free. Struggle looks different on everybody, but you definitely do not have to do it alone. So if you are struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. You can click the link in the description. I've even pinned it in the comment. Or you could head over to betterhelp.com slash meds for a 10% discount on your first month of therapy with a licensed professional specific to your needs. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for and way more than sponsoring my channel, just helping me get back on track. Let's dive back into the episode, shall we? I am Rachel Metz. If you are new here, I live in the Joshua Tree area, and I moved to Joshua Tree as a breakup slash like post breakup slash Christmas present to myself to start a new chapter here. And I did the 40 foot trailer, which is now a flop because it flooded. We'll talk about that another day. And I've done so many other projects to kind of keep myself busy because I have a fear of commitment. Once I got here, you know, it's been three years and I've avoided the whole renovation. I've made an ecosystem for myself. I am now developing a community and I really feel like I'm about to live an insanely full life here in the desert after figuring it out and getting my footing, if you will. And so I said, you know what, Rach, we need a challenge. We need some uh, goal setting. And I came up with, uh, let's renovate this in 90 days so we can just do the fun details all the month of December. And as an anniversary present to myself, have the house done. This is a little sneak peek. We're not done, obviously. But let's renovate this house in 90 days. Comment, like, subscribe, follow along because I can't believe I'm actually doing a series. And I'm going to need all the support I can get. So. Let's get it cracking. What's that? That's lame. Don't, Rachel, don't say that. When we did this makeover, oh my god, two years ago, last year, when did we do this makeover? So long ago. I actually like shaved the popcorn ceiling down and textured it to look like a terracotta pot since that was my inspiration. And I'm gonna keep that texture up there. You can't really notice it till the light's on and you can see the unevenness. What I really wanna do is make these walls like pristinely smooth, which um, hopefully isn't too hard and I'll show you how to do that. Fun little fact for you guys. If you remember the DIY art in the trailer, that was based off of just like a, a drop box that I had from like moving from my breakup to here. And so I thought it would be cool now that we're actually officially starting the home renovation to do the same thing um, for this house. I, I think it'd be so cool every single project that I do to have a fresh drop cloth and then turn it into a piece of art. So we have a couple of like big projects left here on the property, you know, so this one's gonna be the home renovation one and then we're gonna have a barn 
one. We will have, gosh, what else are we doing? We gotta finish the trailer. We'll do a new trailer one. And that might just be a random like side note for you guys, but I think it's cool. Like if say you're renovating for the first time or whatever kind of project you're doing, it could be literally like doing your first build. I think it would be such a cool idea to, to utilize the drop cloth. Like you don't have to keep it on the drop cloth floor forever. Next thing, I'm gonna be thinning this joy compound to be able to be rolling it onto the wall. This is a lightweight topping joint compound, which I picked up from Ace Hardware. This episode. So let's thin this out. I think this is like $6. So when I'm working on just skin coating, I will have a designated like skin coating topping joint compound. If I have a big bucket, I'll remove it from the big bucket. I would most definitely wish a full drywall job on one of my enemies, fun fact, specifically skim coating, because it isn't fun, it is tedious, and it is definitely worth it. What you want to do if you have textured walls like I do here, you want to go in and you can roll on some compound, joint compound, I've linked it down below for you, and then you go in with a straight edge and you scrape it smooth. It does take a couple of times to get the hang of it, but let me tell you, it is fairly easy after you start to kind of muscle memory it after like four or five times. It is complete personal preference when it comes to texture. For me, I want the texture on my ceiling, which is typically not what people want. But here I want the wall smooth, but just do what your heart tells you to do. It's your house, don't listen to people about texture. Who cares, what do you like? After the joint compound fully dries, that's when I go in with an insanely smooth grit, like 220 or something above that, honestly, to just get the baby butt smooth walls that I've been looking for. I'm gonna add a, what finish am I adding before I say I'm adding it? So I'm gonna go in with an eggshell, which is a little bit glossier, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it is so much easier to clean and it is sealed better. So that's what we're doing now. I have no idea where to put this bed. Fun fact, what I'm realizing is the bed can't go here, it cannot go there, and the bed will scoot up against in this, which will give you the perfect amount of space to have a fully functional small guest bedroom suite. No, let's remove these and kind of fine tune the built-ins. So this was the original headboard to the bed we built. Oh, I don't know if it will fit. Shoot. Dang, I'm so bummed I didn't measure that. Oh, does it go all the way around? I definitely never thought I'd have a desert property with multiple structures to make over. But the reason I'm using the rug is to pull the rug accent wall from the trailer into the house. So when you start to visit each structure, they sort of make sense and blend together. I also love the combination of red with that like burnt orange. I just cut glass with the glass cutter and I'm gonna double it up to make decorative shelving. I'm gonna cover these with decor, um, but the reason I want them glass is because I want the light to shine through to the bottom. I don't wanna have to add a bunch of light. I'm hoping it works. For my humans that are gonna comment, reiterating to you now, these glass shelves are gonna be double paned and decorative. These are not for things for people to put things on. I am going to fill them up myself with aesthetics. Well, what light fixture? I'm glad that you asked. I bought these battery operated sconces off of Amazon and then just where the black wire would hang loosely, I cut a piece of copper pipe that I had on hand down to size to create a metal accent to bring in that warm tone. Look at this, these aren't even wired. These are just battery operated. And then the light will go through all the way to the back. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. I sealed up the wood and then I just try to figure out the piece to resist on, which is the episode tomorrow, the butt build. We're doing this all backwards, but are we surprised? No. 
Uh, now that we have this figured out, God, that took way longer than anticipated. Now we're kind of moving on to the bed. And I'm not gonna stain the floors white because I need to build the bed in here. And that's gonna scuff up and screw up the floor. So let's try to figure out a way that we can add a shelf because those are more for decor. This is gonna be your functional shelving unit. And then what exactly we're gonna do with the bed build? Because I really don't know. I know now it's going to go here. This is the headboard and we're about to put a shelf in. But what I don't know is what type of bed is it, you know? And I haven't built a bed in a minute. I decided to use a very basic piece of pine, which you can grab at your local lumber store. It's a 12 inch wide piece of pine. And I decided to sand that down with a 220 grit. And the reason that I'm adding the trim on top of that as a detail is to pull together from the trailer, from the pottery room where I've used that trim before. So it all feels like a cohesive thought when you walk through. Um, all right, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I just need to figure out what type of bed I want to build, which come back tomorrow, we'll do the whole bed build together. And then next week will be the reveal because I want to shop over the weekend. And then we'll start the next part of the renovation. But this, are you joking? What a difference. Way more functional. The room made no sense really. It's on this wall, but now it just feels like there's a space for the bed. You're going to look this way. It kind of feels like there's a direction, which we need. I am not going to put plants in here. Fun facts, last time we did that, I left them. And it definitely needs an AC in here. So. I'm gonna hold off on the plants for a bit. Even though it's small, it's gonna be tiny and mighty, I can actually see the functionality of it, and I'm going to be living in each room that I do to make sure that it's fully functional. So when I move on to the next room, I can kind of think about what I need to come back and enhance for the experience of other people. But I'm happy with this right now. I'm not gonna stain the floor quite yet because we need to build the bed and that, my friends, is gonna happen tomorrow. So come back tomorrow night for another late episode. Sorry, I just I just need to get back on the schedule. So pushing this out this week, getting back on regular uploads next, next week, and we're renovating this damn house in 90 days. Oh, feels so good to have a goal again.